when you come from a background that they come from, you don't have much value, you don't have much much vision for your life or dignity or worth. When he came to us, he, um, he didn't speak. Um, he kept his head down. These children were kind of thrown out there thanks to their parents. Neither parent cared about the children. Making all the wrong decisions, you know, didn't believe in God and just having a lot of hard times, you know, with friends and school and everything else. The mother had been on drugs, so all the children had some kind of reflection from the drugs. is jealous for me Love's like a hurricane I am a tree Bending beneath The weight of His wind and mercy Family is such an important component and Mustard Seed Ranch supports the family definition. It's what it's all about. We're here to provide a family environment for children. We knew there was something that had to be done to be able to, to take care of children in a way that we could give them some, some safety, some security, some stableness. Being a mom here at the Mustard Seed is a blessing. Just seeing the kids grow um, and become uh, self-sufficient because you're helping them learn how to uh, cook, you're helping them learn how to clean. You're helping them learn how to do their laundry. We definitely see the joy of the Lord out here um, through the children. And this is, it's, it's terrible that the children have to come to a place like this, but it's awesome that they have a place to come to like this. The kids that we have here at the ranch are not bad kids. They're good kids. Um, they just come from different um, family situations where the families need support. It's a godsend that when my daughter got into drugs, they wouldn't be put into other homes. And this way they have a chance at life rather than someone else doing it. And we wouldn't be able to see them, which now we can. one particular child that we got and he um, when he came to us he um, he didn't speak um, he kept his head down we started working one-on-one -on -one with him and within about six months he was um, had come out of that shell I think the biggest thing that I've seen in him improvement wise is his ability to put forth effort before he didn't care he could care less about school and now he comes in, he wants to do his work, he, he wants to move ahead. We are raising these kids to dream more, to become more, to learn more, to do more, and, and to be leaders, not just educationally or physically, but spiritually to lead their families, to lead um, each other. And it's just awesome to see them come into that position of leadership. And one of the rewards of working with um, the girls here at the girls home is just seeing them grow and seeing them change and seeing them turn into young ladies. They have grown up um, just in the few months that I've been here I've seen both of these girls and all the other girls here just change into women for the Lord and that their hearts are just growing and they're becoming all new people. Lord I just praise you for bringing us here the broken with an open ear to all the prayers and cries from the hopeless. And I've seen the eyes of newfound love, smiles of joys that come from above to you. They've grown spiritually. Uh, and they've matured in their behavior, and uh, it's uh, it's just been phenomenal to watch watch how these these children have have changed over the course of two to three years. Watching the girls grow and seeing them come closer to the Lord and wanting to be better people, wanting to change, 
seeing them become more comfortable around us and know that, yes, we are going to be here and we're not leaving them and we are taking care of them. And um, the hugs and the, and the prayers, they have the sweetest prayers at night. God never forgot them. God loved them even in the midst of all the rough things that might have been happening in their lives. But God was right there and never forgot them. When I talk to people, I'll tell them that I grew up in a group home, that I moved to a group home when I was 15. Because I want them to ask me about it. I want them to ask me about the mustard seed because it's not just a group home. It's a Christian house. It's where somebody lives. It's not just a place to stay because everybody here, they're just so loving. Greg and Kim, they, you know, it's actually like a mom. <coughs> Actually, they were actually like a mom and dad, not just, you know, people to watch over us. The Mustard Seed Ranch is totally my family. The Mustard Seed Ranch is like a family to me. I'd call the Mustard Seed Ranch home. Oh, how he loved. The seed was planted a long time ago by our founders, the Buckners. And now the soil is rich and we are growing. Mustard Seed Ranch is growing. Won't you become a part of our family?